I mean, I don't know how to choose a chicken. Do not wake me up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Otherwise, I'll, I'll, I'll release cues on you. <laughs> Guys, before we jump into this story, be sure to stick around to the end of this video because this story I'm about to tell you morphed from one disaster to at least three. All right, guys, so someone, I'm not naming names, but someone got into the chicken coop and severely injured a chicken. And the chicken is not gonna make it. So I'm off to buy a replacement chicken. Honestly, when I came to Kenya, I never thought I'd be saying those words. All right, guys, this is the scene of the crime way, way back on the property that I'm staying at, the caretaker has this chicken coop right here. So I was in the pool chilling, and then all of a sudden I heard chickens go wild and chickens flying around. And I came in and Mr. Q's was right here with a chicken in his mouth and blood all over his head. He was a bad boy that day. All right, I think I found Q's new sibling. Check this out. A Dalmatian cow. I want it. <laughs> if you haven't already, like and subscribe to this channel. All right, guys, crossing the street to get some chickens. I think I should just go. Don't kill myself. Here we go. Chicken coop smell, my God. Hold on, I need some fresh air. <laughs> what are the different prices for the... The sizes. Sizes, okay. What do you think? Is he healthy? So you're looking for what? Tell me. Good the weight? Mouth, they cut, always cut the mouth. The mouth? Yeah. What's the mouth? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm no chicken expert, but that looks pretty healthy to me. Okay. This guy is my new buddy. I shall call him. What's his name, Holly? We gotta give him a name. Yeah, this is him. I love Jimmy. Jimmy the big pork there. Jimmy. Do not wake me up at three o'clock in the morning. Otherwise, I'll, I'll, I'll release cues on you. <laughs> if you wake me up at 3 in the morning, Q's is, Q's is going to Get him on the way, so Q's Q's. The other one. <laughs> not away I, had, I had the buzzer on him, he wasn't going to attack them. I really? had the, the yeah. That's oh. why he left it alone. I wonder, he never went to the chicken, then I was wondering. Uh huh. Alright guys, so we're buying, this is to replace Holly's chicken that Q's murdered. Essentially. This is technically my chicken. <laughs> but, but I'm adopting it to Holly, so. Yeah. I'll come and check on it every now and then. Because yeah. I, I don't know how to take care of chickens. Yeah. Even though I did when I was a kid in Lebanon. I used to go pick the eggs. <laughs> All right. So, a thousand. Out of 16. Oh my god. Can we do 15? But you have got two from two. We from the same person, then it would be 15. Okay. Okay. So, so two, two different people. vendors? Yeah. Sorry. All right. My negotiation skills are rusty. <laughs> All right, guys. Do you think they take credit cards? I could get, how much, 10 points? I can get 10 points for these chickens. Ah, shit. I should have asked. Maybe they take Amex or City. But I think chickens fall under the built card. <laughs> All these just stepping on these chickens. I mean, it's intense. Now what I'm thinking is, how am I getting home with two chickens in the tuk-tuk? Because I'm not getting in that tuk-tuk. Like, he's petting them. It's so so if you pet them when you step on their feet, they love you. You're gonna live a good life. Yeah. All right, got my change. We tied the chickens up. Yeah. Now we're gonna go give them a new life. Better life. <laughs> Better life. So that was supposed to be the end of the chicken video. But before I could post this, Q's strikes again. I currently live in a compound which houses five apartments. 
Q's has the run of the grounds, but I have to watch him like a hawk because he is 100% food obsessed. I thought I was food obsessed, but this dog is really food obsessed. That means he will eat anything he catches. I left Q's with a caretaker and went out to run a few errands. Upon my return, I was quickly informed that every time the gate was open, Q's would try to escape and try to find me. He managed to get out once, but luckily the caretaker was able to collect them. I mentioned in another video that Q's order of priorities are number one, food, number two, Richard, and number three, everything else. Whenever he's not eating, he likes being with me 100% of the time. So whenever I leave the compound, he wants to try and find me. Perhaps I'm guilty of spoiling him a little too much. What do you think? The second bombshell they told me is that he darted into the first floor apartment and grabbed a loaf of bread and ate it all. It turns out this was some kind of special German bread. I apologized for Q's behavior and paid the resident the cash equivalent. But the crazy thing is that if not watched, Q's will do it again and again and again. He understands that it's wrong, but for some reason, his brain just short circuits when it comes to food. He's a rescue dog, and I believe he likely had to hunt for his food for the first two years of his life. I can't seem to break him from his food obsession, but there's more. This morning, I opened my apartment door to let him out to relieve himself, which I do every day. But for whatever reason, this morning was different. After sniffing around for a few minutes, the sounds of the chickens got his attention. Without warning, he raced off to the chicken coop and began hunting them. This caught me off guard. I was in my underwear, shoeless and shirtless. I quickly grabbed this Maasai blanket, draped it around me and chased him while yelling his name. It must have been a comical scene for all the other residents. By the time I reached the chicken coop, Q's had a rooster trapped in his jaws. He was looking up at me saying, I've caught it. What do I do now? Can I eat it? Please let me eat it. I yelled at him to drop it, which he immediately did. The rooster fled the coop and raced towards the caretaker's quarters. And at this point, I have no idea the state of this rooster. I'm now on rooster recovery watch. I urge you all to give your thoughts and prayers for the rooster's recovery. I will go broke if I have to keep replacing chickens. To put it all in context, Q's has never seen a chicken before. As far as he's concerned, it's just prey to catch and kill. He will definitely get better with time, but I might need to find a new place to live. Maybe a place that doesn't have goats on the property, no chickens, no monkeys, no people, no people who like to eat bread, no people who like to eat their meals outdoors. <laughs> you know, it's a tall order, I know. I'm on the coast for peace and relaxation, but Kenya is currently to next level for Q's. Stay tuned to learn about the health of the rooster and how Q's is adjusting. Take care and be good to each other.